Sometimes when you order a plasmid, they actually come as these agar stabs. And so you can kind of see there's that pipette mark. What they do is they take a pipette and they basically stab the agar with bacteria that contain the plasmid. Then when you get your stab, you basically just take a spreader, streak it on the plate, and then you hopefully will get individual colonies. You can grow up those colonies, make glycerol stocks for longer term storage, and purify out the plasmid. Sometimes it's a good idea to actually sequence the plasmid, make sure that it's actually what you think you ordered, and see the actual sequence, as well as then to be able to clone things into it and do any sort of subcloning you want. So yeah, so comes for you, it's got the bacteria, just take a little of that bacteria, streak it out on a plate, isolate single colonies, grow up the single colonies in a small amount of LB, like five mils or so, make sure you have the antibiotics in both the plates and the liquid and so it typically will say on the vial like what antibiotic you need and then take that make some glycerol stocks put those in the minus 80 and then you can grow up more when you need it in the future take some purify out the plasmid and so sometimes what you care most about is the plasmid if you're doing some sort of cloning if it's like a cloning plasmid then your main goal might be to purify out the plasmid but if it's something where it's the cells that you care about that have the protein say that you're being expressed so like this one has the ted protease protein so we want the protein itself and so we care less about the actual plasmid in terms of purifying the plasmid but for the cloning plasmid here we actually want to go and grow up another starter culture from the individual colonies and then be purifying that out so that we can clone our stuff into it. But there you go, the agar stab, 